Hey, welcome back to Sunbird Garage. This episode, we're going to do the power brake booster, uh, the master cylinder, uh, the brake lines, the fuel lines, uh, the fuel tank, and uh, that's about it. I don't remember. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Now that the car was Raptor lined and the engine compartment was painted, it was time to start reinstalling parts. You know, after three plus years of tearing this car apart, the thought of actually putting parts back onto the car was pretty exciting. I started with the brake hardware. I had been hunting for a couple years for a new or refurbished power brake booster and I finally found one at O'Reilly's and ordered it. I half expected it to be cancelled or show up and be incorrect, but it showed up and it was a match to the junk one I had laying around. It had some anti-rust coating on it. I cleaned that off and then painted it with Eastwood's brake gray paint. I also cleaned and painted the master cylinder with the same you know, brake gray paint. You know, finding stock replacement parts for these cars is getting to be a real challenge and I was glad to have both of these crossed off the list finally. This is a brace rod that bolts to the master and then runs to the inner fender. I cleaned it up and put it back in place only to find out that it was a touch too long. Yeah, so no problem. Just cut a small piece out, welded it back together, ground the welds down, painted it, and put it into place. Next was the proportioning valve. This was from my old 1976 Sunbird that I scrapped. It worked fine, but it needed some cleaning, so I used the blasting cabinet to clean it up and then painted it with the brake gray paint. And this is the bracket for the uh, proportioning valve. It was blasted clean and then sent out to be CAD planted with my other hardware. By the way, there's a Sunbird short where I showed the hardware getting refinished, so go watch that. So the master, the booster, the proportioning valve bracket, all installed. It was pretty motivating. I even restored the washer tank and installed it here. And you'll see a first glimpse of the brake lines being installed. I had considered making all my own brake lines and fuel lines, but then I realized inline tubes actually makes a complete pre-bent set for a Monza. What? Who, who makes parts for a Monza? Uh, by the time I bought the material, a good bender, and wasted a bunch of material screwing up, I figured I'd just be better off with one of their sets. Surprisingly, they had a lot of options for Monzas in Vegas. I opted for the stainless steel brake line set and called to order them. And their customer service was great. I think it took less than two weeks for the material to arrive. Uh, and they actually goofed and they sent me both a stainless steel set and a steel set. The lines all fit really well. The only line that was off just a little bit was the short line that tied the master to the proportioning valve. The line just wasn't fully bent here, so I just took a little twisting to it and it got it to fit without too much problem. And I have this little spot here. There's a little bracket that goes around these lines here. And I ended up getting one, but I forgot to take a picture of it. So here's some videos of the lines being installed. Formula update. I haven't really done a whole lot, have I? I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I have. Um, since the last update, anyway. So, still waiting on springs. The suspension. K members in. I think I said that last time. Um, all of the brake lines are in. After I tweaked the uh, left, or I'm sorry, right front brake line. I got the fit really well. The little tiny line on the other side of the master to propos proposition proportioning valve. God, I can't talk. Uh, I was able to tweak and get in there. I experimented with the uh, the steel line first in case I screwed it up. Got that in there. Took it back apart. Twisted the uh, stainless steel line to the same same shape and got that in there too. So that's all put together. Um, I need to tow back, go back and tighten the lines, but they're all in there. So, uh, let's see what else. After much deliberation and Bill beating me over the head, I decided I'm going to run the brake line on the passenger side. I'm sorry, the driver's side, uh, all by itself, and then I will do both the supply and the return on the passenger side that seems to make more sense. Looking at stuff, 
online and sniper stuff, Holly EFI sniper stuff. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I put all my clamps in. Basically stole the clamps from the other side. But that's a new rubber clamp that I had to find to use right there. Got that screw to work. And everything else is factory clamps. There. And there. And there. They're just the ones that would normally go on the other side of the car. Because usually there'd be a uh, supplier line on this side. Cross number still in there. Uh, put in my flexible line on the rear. It's snugged up. It's not fully tightened. I'll have to go back and tighten it. Uh, and I just kind of zip tied it out of the way. Got that from inline tubes. See so right there. Inline tubes. I have a rubber hose, stock rubber hose here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. But this braided one's about two inches maybe longer than that one. Which I'm not too worried about. This should be fine. But now I gotta figure out what material I want to do for fuel lines. I was gonna do uh, the nickel copper stuff, and I still might. I don't know. Uh, I need to get a better bender if I'm going to, because I bent the hell out of it and kinked it immediately. With the bender I bought served me right for buying a twenty-dollar bender, I guess. So, anyway, that is where we're at. Um. Mm, 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 mm. My idler on that I painted. I was gonna put that in there. Of course, I don't have the original bolts for it anymore, so I went and bought these. I figured three and a half would be long enough, and they're not. So I think they're probably three and three quarters. But where are you gonna find three and three quarter inch bolts? Nowhere. So anyway, that's where we're at. Oh look, silver card. I lost my parking spot, so silver card goes here now. We'll probably go in this hole, maybe, here, I don't know. I don't like to leave it outside. Hopefully my gas tank strap insulation stuff will show up this week and I can throw the tank in there and get it out of the way. I hate using it as a shelf, I'm afraid I'm going to scratch it all up. Well, I went ahead and did something. I went and bought the inline tubes uh, fuel line. I, figured, I was so impressed with their brake line kit that I said, you know what, I'm just going to buy the... Uh, the fuel line kit too. They do make a 3 8 uh, fuel line kit which is upsized from the stock one which I think is 5 16 So this is a 3 8 fuel line kit uh, pre-bent and it comes in two pieces. Um, so this piece here goes up to the stock location on the firewall. It didn't come with the, this little union so I had to go get that. And then it comes with the, the, the rear piece. This is just like the stock uh, in your car. So, and it comes with a nice uh, armor guard material on there too. So I get a, get a clamp for there, which I have over there. I didn't have enough of the, uh, they call them R clamps, kind of shaped like an R. So, but it fits very well. Um, these R clamps back here in the back were tough to get in because that line is a little bit bigger than stock. But I got it to fit. Same with this one here. This one was a real challenge, but it's in there. It's in there tight. Um, this is where it goes right from the factory. If you look at your car from the factory. And it goes up here. And I need to get a clamp for over here. I went to the... Go get this. I went to the auto parts store. And they didn't even know what I was talking about. I said, I just need a fuel climb clamp for strapping a fuel line. Hmm? Huh? Anyway. They didn't have, they had three eighths, but they didn't have anything bigger. This is a three eighths line, but with the, the armor on there, it's more like half inch, so I gotta get a bigger clamp for that. And then this is the stock clamp here that I had plated, and it'll work, it'll hold that in place. And it even has this nice turn down, just like the, the, uh, the factory does. Um, I might have to trim some of this armor off to get the hose on there, I guess, but. There you go. Pretty happy with that. So I have to figure out what I'm doing for a return, but the return I'm going to do up the, the passenger side still. You know, along through here. I might do a hose. I don't know if I'm going to do a hose or if I'm going to do hard line, but I'm in no hurry for that right now, I guess. 
these are the front brake hose brackets. I actually blasted them clean and had them CAD plated as well. I picked up these braided hoses. They're 12 inches long and good for S10 spindle slash caliper swaps. I saw them on an old H-Body forum post and uh, picked them up. The bracket is actually opposite for the hose, so I need to get a file and file a new slot for the hose to fit. My original front brake hose grommets were in great condition. They cleaned up really nicely. And the front hose is lined up perfectly to the brackets that I still need to modify here. Here are a few pictures of the lines being fitted. And I'll tell you what, this kit fit amazingly well. When I talked to the inline tubes, I asked him how they even had sets for Monzas. And he said they actually take the sets off a car, scan them into the computer, and the computer bends the set as needed. So pretty slick and pretty quick. I actually got this order in about two weeks if I recall. The rear braided hose they sell for the Monza, you know, it doesn't fit. The braided part will fit the line set just fine, but the T that they sell with it doesn't fit the rear lines. The block is just too big, so I had to order a replacement block. And here's a comparison of the rubber line to the braided line. Note that the, uh, the brass block has a much larger opening. This 3AN male 3 8 24 block was the key, and it threaded right into the braided lines and then the two lines that run out to the wheel cylinders fit near perfect too. I tried my hand at making a return line from copper nickel line, but I gave up after a few tries. I just ordered their 3 8 inch line from inline tubes. The stock line's 5 16 but they offer this oversized 3 8 line as an option. My only complaint is it didn't come with this union, which I thought was odd, so went to O'Reilly's and picked one up. And the fuel line fit really well too. It was a bit tight in a few areas and some of the clamps because of its larger size. and the fuel tank. I'll do a separate short video on this, but I did have it professionally cleaned and lined, and then I painted it with KBS rust seal paint, and it really did come out great. Here's the finished hardware installed for the gas tank. I'm really glad that I had this hardware cleaned and, and plated. It all came out looking fantastic. Of course, I always kick myself when I turn around and find a piece I forgot to send in for plating. I wish there were a few. I picked up some gas tank strap insulation off of eBay. I think this was for a Corvette, maybe? but it worked really well. I also stripped the straps and painted those as well. And the tank is hung in the car. There's no sender or fuel pump installed yet, so it'll need to come back out, but honestly, I just wanted it on the car and out of the way. It was safer here than anywhere else. So the next video I do will be the suspension installation. That was, uh, that was challenging. So until next time. I, I do have more than just this one shirt, so just, just FYI. Um, next week I'll do the suspension. I'm actually going to get the suspension on the car, um, which was a real bear. That was not fun. Uh, suspension in the car, rear axle in the car, and maybe off the rotisserie. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff they say at the end of the video. Um, I'm enjoying making these things. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching them to some degree. Um, but I appreciate anybody that does watch them and comments and lets me know how I'm doing. Thank you. Bye.